the silent war between humans and machines has already begun. When we hear the phrase war between humans and machines, most people imagine a sci-fi future filled with violent rebellion, killer robots, and blazing battlefields. A world of lasers and explosions, where man battles metal in an epic showdown for survival. But that version is misleading, because the real war isn't loud or obvious. It's not about destruction, it's about control. Quiet, gradual, and digital. And here's the scary part, it's already happening. You won't hear bombs, you won't see blood, but the shift is real. It's happening in your decisions, your habits, your thoughts, all being influenced and steered through code, screens, and data. This isn't a war of bodies, it's a war of minds. Let's explore the 10 silent but powerful fronts of this ongoing battle. Algorithms are replacing our judgment. The first front of this war is decision-making, and it's already slipping from our hands. Every day we outsource small and seemingly harmless choices to machines. Which route to take, what video to watch next, what product to buy, what song fits our mood. At first it feels like helpful guidance like having a smart assistant by your side. But over time, this guidance becomes a substitute for thinking. Algorithms fueled by massive data sets and pattern recognition offer recommendations tailored just for us. But what starts as convenience slowly evolves into dependence. We stop questioning the results. We stop seeking alternatives. We let the system decide. And each time we surrender that control, a small part of our personal judgment quietly fades into the background. This war isn't about machines becoming smarter. It's about us becoming more passive. Psychological manipulation. Through engagement, behind every social media feed, every app notification, and every endless scroll lies a psychological machine. Crafted not to inform, but to influence. Every like, comment, swipe, or pause feeds into machine learning systems that map out your emotional triggers. They know when to show you joy, when to show you rage, when to spark envy or desire. It's not about connection, it's about addiction. The battlefield here is your attention, and the weapons are algorithms that know you better than you know yourself. They're not just targeting your behavior, they're shaping it. This is warfare waged through pleasure and outrage, engineered with precision. And the worst part, most people have no idea it's happening. Automation is quietly eliminating human roles. Across industries, machines aren't coming. They're already deeply embedded. AI systems now write articles, generate code, edit videos, screen resumes, offer legal insights, diagnose health conditions, and even provide emotional support. These aren't futuristic concepts. They're tools used by companies right now to replace human labor, piece by piece. But the shift isn't dramatic, it's subtle. One spreadsheet gets automated, one chatbot takes over a human rep's job. One algorithm starts evaluating performance. No protests, no headlines, just quiet replacement. The real danger isn't just unemployment, it's the de-skilling of society. When machines take over, humans stop practicing, stop learning, and stop developing expertise. The less we do, the less we can do. And slowly, silently, we lose not just jobs, but capabilities. Surveillance is becoming normalized. In the name of security, personalization, and convenience, we've accepted being watched. Our phones track our every move. Voice assistants are always listening. Apps know when we sleep, what we eat, where we go, and even how we feel. Facial recognition is embedded in cameras across cities. And most people, they don't blink. We've been trained to see all this as normal, as the price of modern living. But this normalization of surveillance is one of the most dangerous weapons in the silent war. We're voluntarily feeding machines more information about ourselves than any government or corporation has ever held in history. Knowledge is power, and power over your data means power over you. Reality is becoming artificial. As AI-generated content floods the internet, the line between real and fake is blurring at an alarming rate. We're seeing deep fakes that can mimic any voice or face. Chatbots that can write articles indistinguishable from human authors. AI tools that produce stunning artwork, compose music, and replicate styles. At first it's fascinating, then it's disorienting. When you can't tell what's real and what's fabricated, truth begins to crumble. Anyone can be made to say anything. Any photo can be manipulated, any event can be faked, and as our trust in reality breaks down, manipulation becomes effortless. The ones who control artificial content don't just influence opinion, they shape reality itself. Data has become the new weapon. We often hear, data is the new oil, but that's wrong. Oil powers machines, 
Data trains, feeds, and guides them. It's not fuel, it's ammunition. It's how machines learn to think, predict, and influence. The most chilling part? We're the ones handing over this ammunition, freely. Every search, every message, every click, every voice command, becomes another input into a digital profile that machines use to predict your next move. And this data doesn't just serve you better ads. It's used to target voters, shape financial markets, and build systems of control. In this war, we are not just the soldiers, we are the targets, and we are also the suppliers of ammunition. Machines are reshaping human identity. Technology isn't just changing how we live, it's changing how we see ourselves. Social media encourages us to measure our worth through likes, follows, and filters. Dating becomes gamified. AI beautification tools subtly tell us we're not attractive enough. The more we engage, the more we internalize machine-defined standards. We begin to forget what natural looks like. We chase digital perfection. We compare our real lives to curated digital illusions. Bit by bit, our sense of authentic identity erodes. We start performing for algorithms instead of connecting with people. This isn't just identity shift, it's identity replacement. Governments are using AI for control. This war isn't being fought only by corporations. Governments, too, are weaponizing AI. In authoritarian regimes, AI-driven surveillance systems monitor entire populations. In democratic nations, predictive policing software is quietly influencing who gets arrested. AI helps decide immigration status, social benefits, and even prison sentences, all based on data, often riddled with bias. When policy is executed by machines, human oversight weakens. When injustice is coded into algorithms, who do you blame? Machines don't understand context. They don't understand fairness. They follow instructions. And in doing so, they become perfect tools of control, fast, efficient, and frighteningly unquestionable. Dependency is weakening our minds. We've outsourced not just labor, but also thinking. We can't navigate without maps, can't calculate without calculators, can't remember basic info without cloud storage. AI now helps us write essays, solve problems, and even brainstorm ideas. It's helpful, yes, but it also comes with a silent cost, mental atrophy. Just like muscles weaken without use, our brains soften when we stop exercising them. The more we let machines think for us, the less we're able to think for ourselves. This isn't evolution, it's mental erosion, and it makes humanity easier to influence and harder to awaken. The final battle is for consciousness. At the core of this war is not code, not wires, not silicon, it's awareness. Machines are not evil. Most don't even know what they're doing. The real threat is how unaware we've become of their influence. We don't question who builds the systems. We don't ask who profits from them. We don't notice what's being taken while we're being entertained. This war doesn't need armies or weapons. It just needs us to stay distracted, numb, and comfortable. But the human mind, when it wakes up, is still the most powerful force on the planet. And if we reclaim that awareness, if we consciously choose how and when to use machines, we can turn the tide. Conclusion the silent war between humans and machines is already happening. Not with explosions, but with quiet shifts in our habits, our thoughts, and our identity. The battle isn't loud. It's hidden in screens, apps, and decisions we no longer make ourselves. But awareness is our greatest weapon. Stay conscious. Stay human. If this message opens your eyes, don't let it end here. Like the video, share it with someone who needs to hear this, and drop your thoughts in the comments. What changes have you noticed in your own life? And make sure to subscribe for more content that challenges your perspective and helps you take back control before the machines take it all.